Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I hope you are doing well. Happy New Week. And I'm so glad you are here today. Thank you for taking the time to join me as we come together to hear what the Lord has for us for today and for this week. So whether you've been with us for a while or you're just joining us for the very first time, I want to extend a warm welcome to you. And I pray that you find this time, I pray that you find this message uplifting and encouraging. Let's start to this word by giving thanks to our Heavenly Father. Lord, we'll come before you with our hearts full of gratitude. Thank you for the breath of life in our lungs. Thank you for seeing us through last week and bringing us into a new week. Thank you, Father, for your grace that sustains us each day and for the love that surrounds us even in moments when we feel alone. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, for never leaving us alone and for always guiding us even when we can't see the way. Father, thank you, Lord, for the lives of everyone, every person watching this video right now, wherever they are. Lord, thank you for each one of us. Thank you because we know that this is a divine appointment and we are grateful for the opportunity to come together in your name. Lord, I ask, Father, for forgiveness for our many sins and for any ways we've fallen short. Father, cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Lord, open our hearts today to pay attention to what you have to say to us. Help us to receive and understand your message and help us to respond to your message, to your guidance and directions in a way that pleases you and aligns with your will. Father, today speak your word through me. Use me, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. As I saw the Lord today for a word for us, I saw an image of a slingshot. As I continued to seek the Lord for what he was saying to us through this vision, I heard the Lord say, don't worry about supplies or what you will need. Focus on building up your skills strengthening your abilities and sharpening your gifts and you will find that your path will open up and lead you to unexpected opportunities that will bring you into the limelight wow the lord is speaking to someone today this word is for someone who is worried about their lack of resources or opportunities Someone who is feeling inadequate or not ready because they don't have all the tools or equipment or connections they think they need to have to succeed. The Lord says, don't worry about supplies or what you will need. He says, focus on building up your skills. Focus on strengthening your abilities. Focus on sharpening your gifts and you will find that your path will open up and lead you to unexpected opportunities that will bring you into the limelight. The Lord wants you to know that it is not about what you don't have. It is about what you have in you and how you use it. He wants us to focus on the talents and ability he has already placed in us and trust that as we develop them, he will make a way for us. When I heard this word, the story of David in the Bible came to me, specifically 1 Samuel chapter 17. David, before he became a king, was a young shepherd boy, according to the Bible. David did not focus on acquiring the armor or weapons of warrior, but instead he spent his time in the fields, tending to his father's sheep, honing his skills with a slingshot and deepening his relationship with God. David practiced with a sling 
perfecting his aim, not knowing that this simple skill would one day lead to a monumental victory. And when the time came for David to face Goliath, the giant that terrorized Israel, David wasn't equipped with the best armor or mighty sword. He didn't have the best equipment. In fact, King Saul wanted him to wear his own armor, but David declined. He knew that his strength did not lie in the weapons of war, but in the skills and trust he had developed in God. David chose to use his well-practiced sling and the stones he picked from the stream. Emphasis on well-practiced. Well-practiced. He, he had mastered the skill of using the slingshot. And by focusing on what he had, and the skills he had already developed. The Bible tells us in 1 Samuel 17, 50, that David was able to defeat Goliath with a sling and a single stone and securing a victory that no one expected. His preparation in the seemingly small and insignificant task of shepherding had prepared him for a destiny that is far greater than he could have imagined. And through this vision, the vision of a slingshot that I saw, and the story of David that the Lord is reminding us today, the Lord is reminding us that it is not always about having the best resources or being the most equipped in the traditional sense, but it is about developing the skills and talents that he has given us and trusting that he will use them in ways we can't foresee. Each of us has skills. We have gifts. We have abilities that God has deposited into us even before we were born. And today the Lord is calling us to discover these gifts, especially for those who may not yet know their gifts. He wants us to discover them and build them. He wants us to strengthen them and sharpen them through practice, through dedication and trust in him. I see the Lord bringing someone opportunities where these gifts and talents will be the very tools he will use to accomplish great feats, just like he did with David. And just as David's skills with a sling paved the way for him to rise to kingship, the abilities you take time to develop now will be used by God to lead you to extraordinary breakthroughs, to life-changing opportunities, and a level of influence that will impact not just your life, not just members of your family, but everyone around you. So for the person this world is for, don't be anxious about what you don't have or what you think you need. Whatever has been preventing or stopping you from focusing on your gift, lay it aside. Whatever has been stopping you from stepping aside, from, from stepping out and from stop, starting that project, set it aside. Instead, keep building your skills. Keep strengthening your abilities. Keep practicing and trust that God will open the right doors at the right time. If you are unsure how to go about this, I encourage you to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to show you what to do and how to go about it. And trust that he hears you and that he will guide you and give you the wisdom, the insight and opportunities to grow in your gifts. Praise God. This is the word of the Lord for you. I pray it's a blessing. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you for the reminder that you have deposited. You have already placed within us everything we need to fulfill your purpose. Lord, I pray that as we focus on developing the gift and talent you have given us, I pray that you would open our eyes, Lord. Open our eyes, Father, to see the opportunities you have prepared for us. Thank you. I just see so many opportunities around us. Thank you, Father. Lord, open our eyes to see these opportunities. 
Father, I ask that you remove every doubt, fear, and sense of inadequacy from our hearts. Lord, I pray for those who are unsure of their gifts, of the skills, of their talents, that you will reveal them clearly and guide them in how to develop and use them for your glory. Give us the wisdom and discernment to recognize the opportunities you bring our way and the courage to seize them when they come. Father, I pray that you would use our gifts. I pray that you will use our skills and talents to accomplish great things in your kingdom. Let our lives be a testimony of your faithfulness. And as we walk in the light of your guidance and see your plans unfold in ways that exceed our expectations, Father, we we'll trust you. We trust you and we thank you for the victory that is already ours through Christ Jesus. We thank you for the many opportunities that you will bring our way even this week. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.